you know, it's me, your little boy, Kisamsen. I have this message for us, chosen ones. You know, your enemies will hit the bottom for trying to destroy you, for plotting evil against you. You know, drop it in that conversation and say within you, my God is greater. My God is mightier. My God is what is so powerful. Because let me be real with you, Chosins. They have tried to cast that spell of shifting your destiny, shifting manifestation. Shifting would break through, delaying would call it, but they are now about to hit the bottom. It's about to hit them. Let me tell you, the Bible makes us to understand. You see, no weapon formed against us can prosper. We prosper and we never prosper. So your enemy thought is to come into your life and cause asunder for your glory never to manifest. Your enemy expectation was to make life miserable. Now they are about to hit the bottom, meaning that what they have sold, what they have plotted, what they have did is what is absolutely on them. They have met the wrong target. Yes, they have touched the wrong person. The thought is that they will surely be able to do this. That they are in the position to manipulate your destiny, to manipulate your character, to sympathize. Because trust me, there are people who are so evil that they are just living to shift destiny they are just there to destroy destiny they are just there to waste what life but let me be real with you god is not joking they are about to test their own form it they are indeed about to hit the bottom for no wicked will ever go unpunished no wicked man on earth will ever go unpunished. They will never in their whole entire life go unpunished. They see your struggles. They see your work. They see the work you are putting in. They see everything that you have done. They see all that you have been laboring for. All that they believe. And all that they have, they have in their mind is to come into your life and delay what God has for you. To cause asunder for that blessing to be shifted. To make life unmeaningful. To make life unbearable for you. But let me be real with you. There can be what peace for the wicked. They have done too much. They have been wicked for too long. So it's a season for them to reap what they have been sowing. It's a season for them to harvest what they have been sowing. It's a season for them to reap that which they have been sowing. Because the truth is this. They know that you have gone through a lot. They know indeed that you deserve this. They know indeed that, that you even deserve much more than what you are getting every day. But they tried to make sure they sabotaged all. They tried to make sure they never live to see you happy. But let me be real with you. But God is about to manifest himself. That God is about to let them reap that which they have been sowing. That God is about to cast their own spell on them. That God is about to let them 
hit the bottom that everything that they tried to use to bring you down is coming back to them it's about to hit them that their own life is about to be crumbled yes don't pity for the wicked bro don't pity for them don't pity for this wicked don't pity for them because there is a season for everything they have rejoiced in doing evil they were so glad in doing evil but it's a season for them to pay it whoever that messed up with you whoever that have put their hands on you whoever that have plot evil on you whoever that said they will not live to see you eat the fruit of your own labor my brothers and sisters they are going to go to the bottom they are about to lose all that they have yes one of the greatest danger danger of messing up with the chosen ones is that you will end up losing all the peace the joy the money even your head so let me be real with you they messed up with you they are going to pay for it it's going to hit them to the bottom that when they see you they will give a distance god is not going to allow your enemy to go unpunished drop it in and said my god will not allow my enemy to go unpunished they are wicked People are so wicked in this world and they are going to pay for it all. Remain blessed.